Brody Jordan here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be discussing mythical beard co. Let's focus on their beard oils, beard balms, and solid coins. Let's we'll get started. So, before we get started, shout out to mythical beard co for uh, sending this stuff out for review. Um, I just cover the shipping because I'm international, unfortunately, but yeah, they sent these over to uh, review. Finally, uh, I've been testing these out in the last little while. I'm finally ready to uh, share my thoughts on uh, Mythical Beard Co. and the Beard Co. So, let's get started. So let's talk about Mythical Beard Co. to uh, start out. I just went through a recent rebranding. Their owner's name is Andrew. The company is formerly known as Beard and Jensen Brand for four years. Um, now they're known as Mythical Beard Co. And they've gone through like, full scent, like, scent redesign and scent, and, uh, scent renaming, um, as we'll talk about. Um, we'll get into these products. Um, so speaking of products, um, Mythical Beard Co. sells beard oils, balms, uh, colognes, combs, uh, as well as combos and uh, trios, and a five pack of solid cologne, um, as well as and a body spray and a sample kit, and a gift card and uh, stickers. So, a bunch of different things. Um, I'm focusing on the oils, balms, and colognes, as I mentioned. Let's uh, talk about the uh, scents next. Let's talk about the uh, scent lineup for Mythical Beard Co. So, I've uh, written down right here. Um, Kraken is vanilla and spices, that's one of the ones that I have. Bigfoot is cedar, pine, and fir. I don't have that one here, um, but based on the sound of the bottom, it seems to be a big woodsy smell. Uh, Cabra, which I do have, is lime and mint. Um, Cyclops is bourbon, pecan pie, definitely an interesting combo. Um, and then Dragon, I have that one, vanilla and tobacco. Um, Invisible Man is unscented. Jack o' Lantern is uh, pumpkin spice, more of a fall type scent. And so, Krampus is fur, orange, and mint. Warwolf is a coffee scent. I definitely want to check that out eventually. Um, Dracula is bergamot, oak moss, and chili. Yeah, let's uh, talk about these uh, products. Starting off with Uh, I talked about Mythical Beard Co. Beard Oil. So, for my four cents that I was able to pick, um, I picked Dracula, Dragon, Truth, Copper, and Kraken. Um, and uh, for all these scents, the oil, they are pretty thick. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. Otherwise, I'll have some uh, B roll. Also, they have the child proof lids, which I'm not crazy about. But yeah, so that's the oil. It's definitely thick, but. I like the scents for sure, uh, definitely cool scents. Oil, I, I think I might have to get this back into like more regular use. Um, just haven't used these in a little bit, just because at first I was really thrown off by how thick they were. Um, I do like the scents, um, and if you like uh, thick oil, you're definitely going to like these. Um, and the ingredients for this are going to be uh, clove oil, castor oil, argan oil, avocado oil, and dragon's oils. Um, yeah, so the scent was pretty strong, lasted between four to six hours. This may be different for you, it depends on the use and the amount that you want to put in and like what you do during the day. Um, and I've noticed that with the oils, they have a little bit of a styling um, ability just because of how thick they are. Um, so if you like thick oils, you're definitely going to love these. I'm not personally a huge fan of super thick oils. Um, that's why I haven't used these a ton. Um, used enough to be able to review them, but they haven't been in my like, regular rotation. Um, yeah, so these will run you uh, 20 bucks Canadian for one oil. Um, I do like the scents for sure. Um, Chupacabra, it's a nice uh, kind of fresh type scent. A fresh, fun, lime and mint scent. And we've got Kraken. Very like smooth, kind of cloney type scent. Uh, as, yeah, vanilla and spices. So you definitely get the vanilla um, with the spices kind of creeping in the background. Yeah, and then I'll show you with, the, with some of the oil droppers. Like, I'll squeeze it, try and like get some out, and I'll get like basically nothing out just because of how thick this oil is and how the. There you go, there's a one. There's, I saw um, Seth uh, from. Crafted beards. Um, he reviewed these guys recently and he was saying he just started just dumping a bit of oil in his hand. It's a fair thing you can do if you do have to use the oils and the uh, droppers aren't working quite as well for you. Um, this is Dracula. This is my favorite scent. 
like some flash and Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely definitely cool sets. Not something that I would rock every day. Um, but definitely neat. Yeah. And uh, really cool labels for sure. Um the instructions there and ingredients and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I definitely like the labels and when I was doing product photos for these, that was definitely pretty fun. Um, yeah, let's talk about Mythical Beard Co's uh, Beard Bomb next. Alrighty, so first of all, the ingredients on Mythical Beard Co's Beard Bomb, white beeswax, shea butter, mango butter, clove oil, uh, castor oil, avocado oil, emu oil, argan oil. Run you twenty dollars Canadian, fifteen dollars US. They don't have a ton of hold to them. Um, easy to scoop out for sure. Um, yeah, similar scent duration, duration and strength compared to the uh, oil. Yeah, performs more like a butter for most of the scents I've noticed. Um, and it's I have I have seen Seth commented on this as well. It's kind of a different feel for different scents. Like um, Chupacabra. I'll show you guys. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty hard. Not sure what it's like. Yeah, so that's that one. And then, um, save for Dracula. Oh, so these have hardened since I last used them. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't used these in a little bit. Um, and they hardened, filled back up. Or like not filled back up, but like, the gap just kind of sealed itself back in. Um, but when I first got these in, I noticed that they weren't super, super hard. So I, I might give this another, uh, another run. Yeah, these are all hardened out. <laughs> I don't know what they were. <laughs> Probably not using uh, too far for a while. The texture changes. Yeah, and this one, yeah, this is the softest of them all. Most. Yeah, it's much more like a little bit petroleum jelly, not really, but like that kind of softness. But yeah, it's it's interesting. It's weird that the consistency is different. These bombs are decent overall. Um, wasn't a huge fan of them. Um, just initially, I was the texture of them was weird, and also the the thickness of the oil just like turned me off from using these a lot. I, I didn't like how thick they were and how hard the dispensers were to use. Um, they're reasonably, reasonably priced. They're kind of like in the higher end of the market average. Um, the label's pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's wrap this up. So, fairly reasonable prices. I like the scents. Um, ingredients are pretty good. Um, the scent variety is pr pretty cool on these. Um, yeah, the oil is really thick, as I mentioned. and. When I was initially testing these, the bomb had minimal hold. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the thickness of these oils. Um, the scent got me nice, and I know people that, a lot of people watching this that would like the uh, thickness. Definitely worth checking out if you're into thick oils. Um, and in my earlier experience, uh, lighter oil bombs. I'm like, yeah, I'm probably gonna give this another try. Um, but yeah, so then I also had the solid clones, which I didn't use too often. interested check them out um i think they have a couple ambassadors which with, i'm guessing discount codes um so if i see one of those i'll uh, i'll link that down below so you can save some money on these but yeah thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe um, if you haven't done so already i'll be back more soon stay bearded peace out